coming into orientation, we get cadets from all different experience levels. Uh, we get some cadets who have never been in a military environment, some who just came from Navy training over the summer to start their scholarships. When you come for orientation, we're going to figure out your paperwork first, and then you're going to get your tailor shop fitting. In the tailor shop, we're going to measure you, your neck size, different things like that. Your initial issue consists of your low quarters and then your boots. And then we also have the OCP camo uniform, which is the Army regulation and Air Force uniform of today. And that consists of pants, a blouse, and then your OCP cover. So you get fitted for a white shirt. So this is with the current uniform I'm wearing. In addition to that, you get dress blues, which are the very, very fancy special event outfit. So you have the pants for those and the jacket almost for it. So we have a room that we usually use for all tours. It's originally Growly's room. Come on in, let me give you a room tour. So each room usually consists of a bed, a desk with a dresser. There's also a full-sized closet that is usually on the side of the room and a mini fridge and a microwave for easy meals. My biggest takeaway and the thing I tell every single cadet that I interact with at orientation is to keep in mind, we are here to train you and to help you improve. That's our job, that's our goal. Take it in, don't just stand by in the corner and let it all happen around you. My advice for the parents, I will say, is do not worry. They're in very good hands. As a new cadet, you'll be kind of put in an environment where Uprozim that I may serve is such a vital core part of what we do as cadets because you not only serve yourself as an individual and learn how to take care of yourself, but you also learn how to serve and take care of others. And that usually creates bonds and friendships that you didn't think were really possible. And those usually stick with you till the very end.